Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by NoxTT.com, enabling organizations through technology. In this tutorial, we're going to look at installing SSL certificates for your default website. The website is going to be running on an Apache web server, and the web server is going to be running on a Ubuntu operating system. So let's have a brief look. Uh, the overview. This is for this demonstration is for a Debian-based architecture, which is a Ubuntu operating system. Install default SSL certificates on an AWS EC2 Ubuntu instance with web server Apache version 2.4.41. The public and private keys come with Apache and are located in the following places. And those are the locations for the various keys. This is the public key and this is the private key. So where did these private, public and private key pairs come from? It is a silver specific public and private key pair created when the silver's Debian based OS is installed like Ubuntu. It is used in cases where no other SSL certificate is installed or configured but encrypted communications is enabled and desired. So these default SSL public and private key pair that came shipped with Apache, it, it, it only happens with Debian-based architectures. So if you have a if your server is a Debian-based architecture, when you install Apache, you will be lucky enough to have this public and private key pair already there for you and you just have to simply switch it on next let, let's continue next double check the default ssl con file for correct configurations we're going to configure it for minimal settings then we're going to check to see if the apache configurations are correct by using a special tool last but not least we'll configure the uncomplicated firewall or ufw to allow both http and https and open ssh traffic the last one is extremely important, as you would lock yourself out of your own server and won't be able to SSH back into me corrections. Note the firewall part is an extra, as the SSL traffic will work just fine with the, when the firewall is off. It's just, it's just part of the demo. So here we go. Uh, before I move on, I just want to make mention that the UFW, or Uncomplicated Firewall, is a feature of Ubuntu. It ships with Ubuntu by default, and by default, it's turned off. So we're assuming that Apache is already installed. These are the commands that you would run to install it. Install Apache, done, and check to see if the UFW firewall is up and running. By default, in most Ubuntu installations, it's not turned on. To move ahead in this demonstration, it has to be turned off. So we have already SSH'd into our... Amazon EC2 instance, and we can check to see if the UFW firewall is off. And as you can see, it's inactive. We can also check to see if our Apache installation is properly up and running by checking this URL. And you, as you can see, it's HTTP and it works let's try https we should get nothing because we don't have ssl installed unable to connect so step three we double check the default ssl.con file for the configurations listed here so let's just copy this out and as we are on our server, let's cd into this location. So we have the, the default.conf and the default ssl.conf. Let's cut out the default ssl.conf and ensure we have the minimal configurations and it's not commented out. So we have the ifmod sslc opening tag, the opening virtual host default 443 tag. Next comes the server admin document root, server admin document root. Then we have the error and custom logs. 
which is right here, SSL engine turned on is next. That is right here. And most importantly, we have identified the parts for our public and private SSL keys. Moving further down, we're going to look for the files match directive. And within it is the directory. And then we have the closing virtual and IF module tags. So that is all there. Everything is up and running with respect to configurations. We can test our configurations by issuing the Apache CTL config tests. And everything is OK. So next, what we have to do is just turn on SSL. And that's how simple it is. Because the public and private keys are already provided for you, all you really have to do is ensure the configuration is set, which it should be, because it's set by default. All you have to do to enable SSL encrypted communications is simply turn on SSL. Turn on SSL in the headers and turn on default SSL. So let's do that now. en mod ssl sudo mod headers sudo default ssl okay let me just see that again i forgot the a all right so now all we have to do is restart our Apache web server and SSL should be configured up and running. So if we go back into our browser and we reload this page, we should get a warning. We get this warning that this site is dangerous or attackers may be attempting to steal your information simply because the self-signed certificate has not been issued by a certificate authority. So your browser won't trust it. It's self-signed, it comes default with Apache, it's not issued by a certificate authority, so you're going to get a warning. And this is the warning, but we know this is our server so we'll just add an exception and there we go https is up and running we now have encrypted communications for our website for our web server so next up is that now that the ssl is up and running we're going to enable our firewall this is just an extra security check And uh, what we're going to do, first of all, is list the applications that is registered with the Uncomplicated Firewall. So the Uncomplicated Firewall is seeing these applications. And what we're going to do is allow Apache Full and OpenSSH. But if you wanted more information on what these, uh, these apps are, you can just issue the sudo ufw app info. and just type in the app. So for the Apache Secure, this only allows 443 communications. So if for some reason someone had a link before you turned on the SSL and you decided to allow this through, then it's quite possible they may get nothing or they may get an error because HTTP AT might not be redirecting to 443, but we will deal with that in a bit. But this is just to demonstrate how you can get more information on any of the apps listed by the UFD firewall. So we can SSH and you get a description. So now it's time to allow the various apps access or allow them to pass through the firewall. We want definitely SSH. We also want Apache Full, because Apache Full is going to allow both HTTP port 80 and HTTPS port 443. Now the firewall is inactive 
as we checked before so we have to enable it for it to start it's now up and running so when we run a status we have open ssh apache full open ssh version 6 apache full version 6. so nothing would have changed really when you reload this it's going to be the same however if i took off the ssl and did straight http port 80 communications that would work too so it won't be a problem even the browsers view it by default just implicitly explicitly put it there and show you that we're running on http traffic and you saw before that we're running https so the question may arise how can i redirect all my http traffic to https well, we can redirect it by putting in this little line of code into our 00 default conf file. So let's do that now. It's the name of the file. Zero. And we can place this just anywhere. I'm going to place it under the document root. So we're saying all traffic on port 80 redirect to HTTPS and that's that's all there is to it let's run our config test to ensure that there's nothing wrong with what we did we also have to restart our Apache server So now, if I am on HTTP, I should be redirected to HTTPS, and I am, automatically. So HTTP traffic is not allowed on the server, just HTTPS. So that's it for the video. We installed the default SSL certificates that are automatically shipped with an Apache installation on a Debian architecture, in this case Ubuntu, on an Amazon EC2, AWS EC2 instance. I hope you found this video informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing.